All right, so I'm gonna be walking over to Flowbility. Um, Flowbility is basically where I'm gonna start learning more about mobility and stretching. So as y'all know, I've been doing bodybuilding for a very long time, but I've switched it up. Basically, I wanna start doing a lot more like hybrid. I wanna start really just performing better and not just lifting weights in the gym. Obviously, I'm still gonna be doing some bodybuilding, but I wanna get into more boxing, more mobility, more stretching. So I'm gonna go through an entire like mobility and stretching session with one of the guys out there um, that I met. He's basically, you guys are gonna basically see the entire rundown. I'll probably cut it up a little bit just so it saves some time, but you'll see how I'm kind of working on my mobility, working on being a lot more flexible, but I'm excited to show y'all this entire thing because it's, it's gonna be insane. So I'm walking over to the car right now. Um, I'll catch you guys after the session. Most effective things to begin when it comes to pain relief is mm -hmm. This guy right here, mm -hmm. rolling, just soft tissue work. You ever got a massage before? Yep. It's like you're giving yourself a massage. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with your glute med. It's called your gluteus medius. Basically the top of your hip here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put it into the wall. And all you're gonna do literally is look for pain. Look for pain. Literally. Okay. Whichever side you want. Let's try this right here. Yeah, and I'll help you with placement. Yeah. Go, yeah. So as you kind of get on that, just like look for a spot that hurts. Probably lower actually. Yep. Try it, yeah, experiment. Yep. Right there? Yep. Perfect. So all you want to do is literally just push your body weight into it. Whoa. <laughs> That's crazy, right? What, when I first did soft tissue, the craziest thing for me was like, why the fuck did I know about that? Bro. Like, what? <laughs> like, how is that not, like, oh. known to me? It's crazy. Yeah, soft tissue. This is... So, it's for everywhere. Yeah, I mean, so when, 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 when you find it, it's like you do... Think of it as like, it's like a bullseye. Right. So, in the middle is like where it's really painful. Uh -huh. But then you can kind of circle around it and you can kind of ease into it if it's too intense. But the really intense spot is where, where you want. Like, it's like you're like talking to the muscle. Yeah. That, that's how he described it to me. Like when, when he first kind of- Talking to the muscle? Yeah, like communication. That's how he, how he described it to me. Interesting. But yeah. So find that good spot real quick. Yeah. And then take your leg and kind of keep going, keep going. Stay on it. Take your leg and just spin it in like that. And you'll feel the hip kind of oh, push yeah. into the wall. Yeah. Exactly. Yep, and then stay like that with the foot on the ground. Turn it in. Yep, and then just push as hard as you can. There you go. And then just start breathing. Try to relax. Yeah. We'll be there for like another minute or so. And it's really simple. Like, this is something you can do anywhere, yeah. anytime, you know what I mean? But this is like what I do every morning. This is actually what he does the most. Really? Yeah. Out of, out of everything that you'll you'll see on the page, like soft tissue is the most soft tissue. Yeah, by far, by far. Try this. So stay there. You can use your hands for support, mm -hmm. but just try to like pick your your left leg up. Turn though. Mm -mm. Just yeah, it's just to pick it up. Oh. Yeah. Why does it cool. feel like that? <laughs> right? So, adding you a little bit You still want to turn this way though? Oh yeah, well, however, it doesn't matter. The main point is that you, you're gonna feel how like, that muscle is like, interacting with the ball as you yeah. start to like, mobilize the joint a little bit. Yeah. So you can play with that. You can go here, you can go in, you can pick it up, turn it in and out. So, and you can play with like, different aspects of mobility while you're doing the soft tissue. It's like you're like, you're like meeting the muscle, you know what I'm saying? Like you're, you're massaging it that while you sense. mobilize it. There you go. So that'll give you some perspective on like, so that, that's called hip flexion. So when, yep. you, when your knee goes towards your chest, that's, yep. that's flexion of the hip. And you could think like- when I have you, tight hips too. Yeah, so when, when you squat, mm -hmm. when you do lunges, that's all flexion yep. to extension, flexion to extension. So you can kind of feel how some of the tightness in there can be potentially impacting what's going on in some of those exercises. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Let's switch sides. Do the same thing on the right side. This way? Yep. Yeah, 
Yep. <laughs> I already know. Yep. <laughs> and this is also a good opportunity for you to learn about the differences between your right and your left side. Yeah. Like, for me, when I was when I first did it, when I put it on the same spot on the opposite side, it didn't feel the same. Yep. So I had to kind of like search a little bit. Yep. And once you find that spot, do the same thing with the foot on the ground, just turn that leg in. Yep, and then just kind of like pop your hip into the wall more. Yeah. Woo. There you go. There you go. So it's like you're- So it's just feeling the joint, basically. Yeah, f feeling it out, feeling where it is. Yep. Feeling how the muscle interacts with the joint by moving it, exactly. So adding aspects of mobility to the soft tissue is really, really powerful. <laughs> this is painful. Yeah, bro. But what's cool about it is like, you're literally giving yourself like a deep tissue mm -hmm. massage, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And this is super accessible anywhere. Yeah. What's your experience with mobility training? Besides being an athlete, not much. Mm. What, what, what sports did you play? Basketball, football, Duh. ran track, Hell yeah. a little bit. What, what, um, what events did you do in track? Uh, 200 meters and high jump. Nice, yeah. high jump, hell yeah. That's dope, bro. I, I stopped doing it real quick. Like, I was just like, no, nah, I'm not doing track. <laughs> well, why'd you I stop? Just, it wasn't for me. Like, I, I was like, I have to run for a living? <laughs> like, no. What, what, uh, what position do you play in uh, basketball? Uh, point guard, shooting guard. Hell yeah. Like, when I was in, so when I was a senior in high school, I was basically like a combo guard, right? And then when I got to college, they put me as a point guard, shooting guard. So I was like a tall, and I, I played D3. So, yeah. Nice. Mobility was there, I feel like, when I was playing basketball. But once I stopped playing basketball and I got into like strictly lifting. Yeah. Gone. Gone. So I, I, do you stretch? Do you do any type of stuff? I do more so now. Foam rolling or anything Foam like that? rolling, yeah. What, I do you, have, what do you typically roll? So I'll do like here. I'll do pretty much every muscle group. Yeah. Like I'll do my um, IT band a lot. Um, that's pretty much it though. Cool, cool. Yeah. All right, let me see that real quick. That's only like when I have leg day is when I'll do that, Got but it. I don't do it every single day. Got it, that'll make a big difference applying this every day. So we're gonna go to some muscles called your erector spinae. Okay. So your erectors run up and down the spine like yep. train tracks. So basically from your tailbone yep. all the way up. Yep. So we're gonna focus on the ones here. Mm -hmm. So take your fingers, put them on your belly button and then trace back until you feel some muscles back there. Yep. Feel those? Mm -hmm. Choose one, left or right. Let's do that. Yeah, go a little bit lower. Like right where you told me that, that arch is, that where it hurts. Oh, right, right here? Yeah, okay. but just not in the middle, of course. It's right here? Yeah, and then go into the wall. Yeah. Interesting. You see? Right, a little bit lower. Perfect. Then go more toward the spine a little bit. There you go. There okay. you go. And then just think like, push your belly button into the wall a little bit, other way. As if you're going like this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Can you feel some tightness in there? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. So that's that's gonna be a really key spot. And what's cool about rolling oh your, your lower back muscles like that, your brain is always looking for stability. Right. Right? So it has to be somewhere. Yeah. And right now it lives back here. Yeah. But when you can turn these down, mm -hmm. it has to go somewhere. So it's gonna automatically go to the front. So it's like a little cheat code. Interesting. Just from doing some soft tissue. Yep. And here's what I want you to do. So stay there. Mm -hmm. Do the same thing. Lift your right leg up. Oh, boy. I can't even do it. <laughs> Try it. Hold on. Yeah. There you go. And you can put it down. Just kind of play with it. Feeling my hip flexors. Yep. 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 Just play with it. Explore your body. Yeah. Exactly. And what's interesting about rolling on the lower back while you lift, when I when I did it, I could feel how my back wanted to actually push yeah. into the wall more. Yep. Can you kind of feel that? Yep. So do that one more time. And it'll kind of, it might even hurt a little bit more when you, when you lift the leg up. It does. So that tells you that when you lift your leg, your low back moves. So okay. when you squat, your low back, like, you know right. what I'm kind of saying? Like, yeah. they're, they're, they're related. Yeah. They're, they're basically like moving together. Uh -huh. Whereas we want to separate movement of this, movement of that. Right. Because that would mean that every time you move your leg, you're moving your back in the same way. Mm -hmm. 
Does that kind of make sense how makes your back sense. is like doing a lot of work? Makes sense. So we're trying to basically separate the two. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. And you can do, um, you can relax that. You don't have to pull that in. Um, go side to side, up yeah, and I'm down. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. It's crazy. Yeah. Wow. If you relax, actually, it'll, it'll sink deeper into the muscle. It just feels like there's a lot of pain. Yeah. Do you usually feel a difference after the first session of doing this? Yeah. Really? It's pretty, it's, it's powerful, bro. Wow. Like, just soft tissue alone is, is a really big deal. Obviously, to keep it, like, feeling that way forever, like, you, you got, keep you, doing it's, it. it's that and also strength afterwards. Okay. So once we do some work here, we got to go to the front and put some of the work that's happening back there in the front. Okay. You can switch now. concept find this it. one's not bad not as bad yeah so are there imbalances sometimes yes. yeah okay yeah like we were talking about before we're like that 30 to 40 percent mm -hmm. that's gonna force certain sides to do more work it's also like it's interesting because it's, it's also based on like like usage like what are you using the most like what, what is actually being used mm -hmm. when you do these exercises it'll help you understand that too hands against the wall try the same thing lift the left leg up And see how that interacts in comparison to what you did on how it wow. felt on the right side. I feel it a lot. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Oh shit, I just noticed it. Your waves be spinning. Oh yeah, we All work right. on it, we work on it. You, you wearing do-rags at night? Oh, always. My man. Always. Well, where are you from, by the way? Brooklyn. You from Brooklyn? Yeah, bro. We did talk about this, bro. Brooklyn and then Arizona. That's what's up. I moved to Arizona when I was 10. Yeah, I'm from Queens. Really? Yeah. That's where my family is now. Where? We're, we're in Jamaica, Queens. Jamaica, Queens. Jamaica? Nigga, I'm from Jamaica. <laughs> really? Dead ass, bro. Damn. That's, that's a fucking small ass word. Well, we're in Jamaica. Jamaica, Queens. Yeah, well, we're in Jamaica. I can't even tell you what the name is. It's been so long. I haven't been there in a minute. You know where um, we're, we're 50s from? Yeah. I'm like right around there. Wow. So for me, I grew up in um, Crown Heights. Okay. One. Sure. And then, gosh, what's the other one? Canarsie. Delars? Nice. Canarsie. Oh, Canarsie. 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 Got you. That's where Pop Smoke was from. Shit, man. Yeah. Right by the A-Train. Yeah, but yeah, 50 was... Queens, I remember. Yeah, man. It's mega queen. South side. Yeah. Hard there. Okay, we're gonna go to your traps. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is crazy. So like, um, basically between your shoulders and your neck. Yeah. Like all, all through here. Yep. Yeah. So what am I gonna just be against the wall? In the back. In the back? Yeah. Yep. And then just give yourself a big hug. There you go. Wow. Yep. So and now, roll it. Mm -hmm. So now pull your shoulder blades together, like backwards, and now do the opposite. Get them away from your spine. So make them come this way. Yeah. Good. Keep doing that. When you find a good spot, let me know. Yep. Cool. So now keep this here. Put your head into the wall. Now keep your head into the wall and try to look into your shirt. Yeah. Wow. Keep looking into your shirt and then bring this this way. And you see how it wants to pull your head yeah. off the wall? Yeah. Keep looking at your chest while you do that. There you go. And just take a big inhale like you were telling me earlier you were doing. Soft exhale. There you go. It just makes some more space for you to get, basically like exposes the muscles, so to mm -hmm. speak. Can you kind of feel that? Oh yeah. Just keep kind of get him off your spine. There you go, that way. He stays here, he pushes back into the wall. So this way. And then look down at your chest. There you go, bro. Big inhale up there. Nice. 
Wow. Yeah, it's cool stuff, man. And if you want, you can even kind of play with it, like stay here and just go to the other side. Go to the other side, go back and forth. You can go to the right side, do the same thing. With the underground, when we come around. Back to get all respect and flows of back to home. Hose and check. Yep, get him away. There you go. Take like two steps away from the wall. Put a little more weight into it. Oh, whoo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> bye bye. Of a fly guy. There you go. Take that. Oh my gosh. Take a quick walk. Whew. The, basically the ball and socket, like mm -hmm. the ball or the actual socket in the pelvis. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to just be free. And what there's muscles all around that, that helps it move. So the tightness you feel in your groin is part of why your hip feels tight. Yeah. It's because the muscle's going like this. Ugh. It's like oh. literally going like that, it don't yeah. move. Yeah. That's why it's, that's why it feels like that when you roll on it. Yeah. So just like fucking putting a lot of pressure Dang. on that shit and fucking get perfect. All right, go take a walk, bro. Oh, no. He's like, I, I, I got a good spot. Yeah. That, that, that's how I know you found it. Like, nah, I ain't getting yeah, up yet. I'm good, <laughs> I'm good I for feel now. Connected to like my my lower back. Is that normal? Yes. Yeah. Why is that? It's all one big thing, man. Part of it is also how you're kind of leaned over. Yeah. So if you kind of relax and just let your body weight sit on it, yep. the weight will go more into the groin okay. as opposed to your back. Because you want that like you're like holding. Yep. Just relax. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Sheesh, man. Awesome. Awesome. Go ahead and take a walk, bro. Yeah. yeah. Good. Let's do some, um, some assessments. Okay. Um, touch your toes for me. Okay, stand up. Do it again. Good, stand up. One more time. Cool, stand up. Now, um, get a little bit wider in your base and show me your squat. Good, stand up. Yeah, just do like 10 in a row. Cool, keep going. Let's hold here. What do you feel? Hips. Well, tell me, like, put your, put, a, put your hand on them, like, with the muscle. Hip flexor, like, in the front? Yeah, literally. Cool, just hold there. Oh. Cool, go ahead and stand up. Awesome, awesome. Now, um, I want you to face me this way. Yep. Now, just pick up your right leg as high as you can, like this, and just hold it. Yeah, don't move. Gonna lift up your shirt real quick. Yep. It's gonna allow me to see some things. Cool, cool. How do you feel? Stable, unbalanced, balance? Yep, balance. Okay, cool. What muscles do you feel working? Here. The hip or the low back? The hip. Okay, cool. Put that down. Same thing, other side. This is a lot easier. A lot easier with the this with side, the, yeah. Oh, okay, so le left leg up, right leg down is easier? Yep. Cool. And what do you feel, what muscles? If at all. Same. Same thing on the yeah. head? Yeah. Cool. Okay, put that down. So we're gonna do the same test, okay. but this time I'm, I want you to follow me. So we're actually gonna move you to the center, and I'll okay. move this back a little bit. I like this thing, man. It's like I compact know, right? and shit. That's nice. Okay, you it's go easy. over there a little more. Perfect. Cool. All right, so same test. Put your right leg up. I want you to follow me. Okay. Can't move your left leg, but you can follow me however, however else you want. Like I have to go? Yeah. Turn? Yeah, bro. 
There you go. Oh. There you go. <laughs> There you okay, go. Okay, okay, okay. Good, I'm gonna come back this way, do it again. I'm gonna go this way, same yep. leg. Yep. I turn with it? However you want, bro, just okay. follow me. I, I, no other parameters besides you gotta follow me. Okay. Good. Good, same thing, other leg. Ready? Yep. Good. Okay, I'm gonna go the other way. Yep. Good, so also easier with the following. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do it one more time, but you don't have to just move your head. So you can move. Oh, you can turn with it, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just don't, the, the, the bottom leg that's like holding, you can't like. <laughs> that makes sense. Same thing. Do your right leg. Ready? Yep. Let's do it. There you go, exactly. Whoa, you moving fast. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Nice, same thing, other side. Ready? Yep. Let's do it. Where is he going? Good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit. Good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit. Good shit, good shit. Good shit, good shit. All right, take a little walk, take a walk. Okay, I need a, where's that yoga mat we were using? Over here. Now, here's what I want you to do. Completely passive, completely relaxed. Take your left leg, lift it as high as you can. Yeah. Now, what would you say is restricting you right now? Like, what feels tight? This hip flexor. Okay, anything else? No. Just the right hip flexor? And. I guess my glute, like my left glute. Yeah, whatever, whatever you feel. Yeah. Cool. Put that down. Same thing, right side. Same question. Right hip flexor. Okay. Put that down. Now, can you, um, so point your left toe like this? Yeah, and now lift it up again. Same thing. With the pointed. Any different? Yeah, it's restricted. What, 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 what do you feel the restriction? This part. Like the calf? Yeah. Cool. Put that down. Same thing, right leg? Oh. What do you feel? Calf restriction. Cool, put that down. All right, good. So here's what we're gonna do. This time when you lift, can you feel your low back want to go into the floor? Yeah. And you remember what I told you about your leg and your low back on the wall? Yep. So it's kind of the same thing. This yeah. Would, this would be cool. So now lift your leg up again, but don't let your low back smash into the floor. So relax your head. Okay. And then do it again, but try not to let your lower back hit the ground. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Bring that down. Do that one more time. And don't think about like arching your back. Just resist it wanting to do that. Yeah. What do you feel there? It's here. Quad? Yeah. Cool. Bring that down. Do the same thing right side. Yeah, what do you feel? Same, like right here. Cool, bring that down. Cool, so you kind of got the idea of not letting the back smash, yep. yeah? So now we're gonna do the same thing. You're kind of already doing it on that side, but take your foot and pull it towards your shin. Yeah, so keep that like that, uh -huh. and then try not to let the low back hit the floor, and then pick up again. Okay. Want me to go up? Mm hmm left side first. Oh! What's different this time? Hamstring. Feel your hamstring this time. All of it. Interesting. Bring that down. Do it one more time. There you go. Can you feel that hamstring? And calf, yeah. Yeah, nice. Bring that down. So we can see how the position of the foot. It'll the change, back, yeah. It changes what you feel. Yeah. Do the same thing on the right side. What do you feel? Same thing. Hamstring, calf? Hamstring and calf. Cool. Bring that down. One more time, left side. Left side or right? Yeah. Left side. Okay. Bring that down. So this is kind of cool. What I want you to do this time before you lift up, take a big inhale through your nose. Yep. Go ahead. Now try to exhale hard through your mouth like, and try to hit the ceiling with your breath. So blow really hard. All of it out. 
Try to exhale all the air out. Hold your breath. Now kick, kick up your leg again. There you go. Bring that down. Same thing on the right side. So wait till you exhale all the air out and then pick up your right leg. There you go. You feel the hamstring again? Yeah. Cool. So let's go to the right side. Interlock your fingers and put them like underneath your knee. So bring your leg up again. Yeah, put them underneath your leg. Yeah, like that. So at what point do you feel your low back want to go into the floor when you lift your knee up? Tell me where that is. Right here. Right about there? Okay. So remember how I, t <laughs> remember I talking about the pooping backwards? Yeah. So it's going to be like a, basically like a, a fight between your back smashing and your butt poking. Interesting. So, so when I say poke your butt, it's like, yes. Yep. Can you kind of feel that? Yep. So that's going to help you pull this off without you arching. Because we know that that hyper arching is why your back kind of hurts in the yeah. first place. So yeah. we don't want to just arch the back to yeah. get it off the floor. We got to use something else. Exactly. Got you. There we go. Now pull that shin. So pull this toward here. Uh-huh. Now take a big inhale. Bring your heel toward your butt. So like that. Yep. Now try your best to use your butt to keep your low back off the floor. Exhale and kick your heel to the ceiling. Yeah. Can you feel that? Yeah. Bring that down. Do it again. Exhale, kick up. And just worry about trying to use your butt to keep your low. Yes. Can you see how that kind of pulls into the hamstring more? How can you tell? Ah, I've been doing it for some time. <laughs> Same thing? Yeah. So would it make sense that this is how you stretch your hamstring? Yes. So give me like 10 of those. You got it. And just focus on the butt in the back for now. Don't even worry about the foot. There you go. I just want you to feel how your butt and your low back are connected. And when you can do that really well, go ahead. You can feel that as opposed to this in your hip flexor. Yep. That kind of makes sense? Yes. Keep going. Yeah. So primary relationship, butt and low back. I'm gonna add one more thing in a second here, but keep going. Kind of get into a rhythm with it. There you go. There you go. Yeah, bro, that's good. Cool. So now we're gonna do it again, but I'm gonna add a secondary equation. Okay. So still primary, uh -huh. butt versus back, right? But now I'm gonna have you do the foot thing that we did at the beginning. So just add that. Don't let it take away from what you're doing with your butt and yeah, your back. Yeah, but just like move the foot. Yeah, so keep it. Yeah, and then go ahead and go up. Oh, Yeah. that's all my calf. Yeah. Remember, butt, butt and low back is primary. So poke your butt as you kick up still. Oh yeah, now it's hamstrings. Yep. So what you're feeling inside your body right now is what we call a tug of war. Mm -hmm. Where, go ahead, you poke your butt, it's gonna take away from the ankle. Yep. But then do it again. You get your ankle, it's gonna wanna take away from the butt. Mm -hmm. So you gotta, they gotta, they're kinda like clashing. Yeah. Think of it as like, a, like an inner kung fu between your butt and your ankle. It kinda feels like I'm lifting weights. <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh, God. Yeah. One more. Try to straighten your leg. But keep poking your butt and get your ankle and not straighten your leg. Wow. Crazy. Yeah. Let's switch sides. Same thing? Yes, sir. Just start with the butt versus the back equation. Yeah, there you go. Good. Yeah, add a strong exhale before you kick up. Can you feel all that? Yes. It's good shit, man. When you get a hang of it, which you seem to have, you can add your ankle. But remember, it's gonna be a fight. It's not form, it's not oh one or the other. Gosh. It's a fight. Yeah, it is. Can you feel that inner fight? Yeah. Like something's just trying to push it back out. Exactly, exactly. And the better you fight that fight and not worry about it being right or wrong, the more you feel your hamstring. Wow. Ain't that some shit. <laughs> Good. <laughs>
Give me like two more, bro. You're doing great. Last one. Cool. Bring that down. So let's go to, um, can, can I see a glute bridge? You've done a glute bridge before, right? Yeah. Do like 10 of those for me. Mm, five. What do you feel as you do that glute bridge? Hamstrings. Like the middle? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like almost wants to cramp? Yeah. Cool. So bring that down. So give me a big inhale through your nose. Hold your breath. Pick your feet up a centimeter from the ground. Both. And you'll feel some pressure down there. I want you to exhale through your mouth until you feel your core. When you feel some engagement there, yep. now slam your feet and bridge. There you go. Wow. Yeah. yeah. How do I go a lot higher doing that? I don't know. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Wow. So do that again. Take a big inhale. Pick your feet up. Exhale hard. When you feel your core, go get your glutes, bro. There you go. Now rip it out. But follow the process. Okay. Big inhale. Pick your feet up. Exhale all the air. Yeah, think about the bottom of your glutes squeezing together. There's a coin in between them. Good shit. Can you feel that? Yeah, a lot. And the glutes? Yep. Cool. Yeah. Think of your core as like a green light. When you feel it, okay, let's go get something. Glutes, you, it's, it's all the same for your, like any part of your body. The core is, is the, the unification in a way. Keep going. Good. Hold this next one. Cool. Drive your big toes into the floor. Yeah, take a big inhale through your nose. Exhale all the air out. And then squeeze your glutes harder. Yeah, can you feel that? Yeah. Do that one more time. Blow hard. And drive and squeeze, bro. Woo! Yeah, one more just for fun. <laughs> Blow hard. Squeeze. Woo! Rest. Wow. Good shit. So we're gonna go back into your hamstring stretch. Go ahead, right side first. I'm gonna add one small thing. So as you do this, pick this foot up a centimeter from the ground. Yeah, and then continue. And try to use your butt to get your low back away. Yeah, bro. Good shit. There you go. Can you feel that? Yeah. It's cool, man. Cool. Stay there. I'm gonna take this leg, twist it that way a little bit. Try to keep this outside of mm -hmm. your foot. And open up yep. still? Mm hmm And then do another one. Oh, wow. A little different. Very. Try to straighten your leg. Yeah. There you go. Keep poking your butt. There you go. High as you can. Come on. Kick, kick, kick. Oh. Woo. Switch it up. Yep. See if you can see that position of the knee. There you go. Yeah, bro. See how much harder it is to straighten your leg? Yeah. When your knee's out like that? Yeah. Keep going. Oh. Holy shit. Nice, bro. Give me like two, three more. Feeling those hammies? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is painful. Yeah, bro, it's fucking hard. <laughs> Good, go, go back into your bridge now and just do a hold. So take, exhale all the air out and just go get your glutes, bro. Yeah, put your hands on the bottom of your butt, push them together. Good, blow hard. Now don't let that move and I want you to widen your knees apart. Yeah, keep your big toe to the ground though. So smash that into the floor. Don't let that move. Ah. Yep. Now drive your glutes as high as you can. Woo! Three, two, ah. one, rest. Good shit. 
Get up when you're ready. Wow. I'm hurt. <laughs> Go get some water real quick. So here's what'll be cool. I want you to do a hip hinge like you're doing, that like you're gonna do an RDL. Yeah. But use what you felt to stretch your hamstrings. So. And I'm gonna change your form just a little. Um, put your feet apart a little bit more. Yeah. Yes. Connect the dots. What did you do on the floor to fill your hamstrings more? Yup. And then what did you do with your butt? There you go. There you go. Stand up. Squeeze your butt. So stand up. Use your butt. Good job. Do it again. There you go. So you're poking. And then yeah. just, just give me a little bit of knee bend. Bend. Yeah. There you go. Stand up. Good. Again. Okay. Stay there. This should be cool. So can you see how your knees are behind your toes? Mm -hmm. Can you lean your body weight so that your knees are going over your toes? Can you feel that in the hammies a little bit more? Yeah. So now don't let this move and widen your knees. Yeah. Take a big inhale. Exhale all the air out. Use your butt to stand up. So stand up, squeeze your butt, like a glute bridge. Yeah. Exactly, now go find that, stretch. Yep. Go find that stretch with the butt poke, the same thing you did in your hamstring stretch. There you go, stand up. Good, one more. Can you feel those hamstrings? Yeah. Pretty cool. Stand up, cool. Take a walk. Wow. So what you learn down there, you can directly translate to everything you already do. It's just about using different variables. Because remember when I told you to touch your toes? Yeah. What, what, what did you use? What do you think? Try it. Do it again. Touch your toes. I use my hamstrings now. Yeah. What was I using before? What do you think? I don't even know. I wasn't paying attention. Cool things to think about. So touch your, touch your toes again, but try to move your spine. Try to feel what you did on the ground. Yeah. There you go. And stand up. Nice. Okay. Let's reassess the, the balance one thing. One time. Pick up your right leg. Cool. Hold there. Yep. You can follow me. Oh, shit. Nice. That's way better. Yeah, bro. There you go. Nice. This was the hard one? Yeah. The left leg down was the hard one. Try the, try the easy one. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Pretty fucking cool. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Good shit. Appreciate you, man. This no is good. That's it. Just a little, Damn. A little, little light preview. All right, y'all, so the session was absolutely insane. Um, kind of getting some more sun because it hasn't been sunny in Utah in a minute, but I learned a lot, man. As y'all can see, like I learned things that I've never learned before in terms of like how to engage different muscle groups. What he explained to me was kind of just like how I can essentially utilize that to be able to recruit more muscles, to be able to build more muscle as well, and to be able to spread out different tissue in the body. And I felt really good afterwards. I, I usually never stretch, which is a bad thing, but I really want to increase my performance. So that's why I've been getting into that a lot more now. Um, so yeah, I got to go eat, man. I'm, I'm, I love this type of stuff though. Like I want to start getting more into boxing. So I'm gonna show y'all like different boxing and sparring sessions that I'll be doing over the next few weeks. Um, and just getting more into like the hybrid stuff. Like, but I don't really care much for running. I want to do something more like boxing cause it's more functional. I genuinely think like when you're in the gym, you should be doing some sort of like bodybuilder type work with, with some powerlifting as well and some athletic movements. But functionality comes from doing other things such as boxing, such as yoga, all of these other things outside of the gym. So I'm going to be jumping into all of that. Um, so y'all are gonna really be a part of the journey of my transformation as well. Like my physique is solid. I do wanna build some more muscle, but I do wanna be more mobile and I just wanna be a weapon. You know what I mean? So. I appreciate y'all, I appreciate y'all for tapping in with me and actually watching this recovery session that I've had. Um, it was incredible. Um, it, was my, it was my rest day, so I really wanted to get more into that flexibility and mobility. 
Um, and I hope y'all learned from this dude, man. He's a, he's a wizard with it. So Flowbility is the place. If you're ever in Utah, check out Flowbility. Find them on Instagram, Flowbility. Literally, they're amazing. Um, tap in with me as well. I started Training Grounds. So Training Grounds is basically my private community for men to be able to um, train, motivate each other, um, work with me, um, do the different workouts that I do every single day that I'll post in there as well. Um, you'll get all access to that. You'll get all access on how to build your own training programs, your own nutrition programs. Tap in with me on that. The link is going to be in the description. Also tap in with me if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching. One-on-one -on -one coaching with me um, when it comes to your physique as well as your mindset. I can get you to become the best version of yourself, essentially. That's the whole goal. So tap in with me, performance coach. I got you. Link is also in the description. I'm going to catch you on the next video.